Hey guys, welcome back to the most disturbing films ever made. Today we get to cover the new film from director Sam Hell, a name some of you guys might recognize from my older videos. He's the director of both Love Dump and Sadistic Pleasures, which I've covered on this channel in my TikTok. So, to get right into it, we're going to be covering the brand new film from Sam Hell, Flesh Eater X. The film starts out with two people sitting across from each other in a hotel room. And if you've watched my Love Dump video, you might actually recognize one of the actors, Wolvi Iron Bear. And story-wise, that's not going to be the only connection we have to Love Dump. And before we go any farther, I do want to give the warning that this film is triple X rated, meaning that there's full frontal nudity and sex shown in the film. And it's shown in quite a few graphic ways as well, so just be prepared for that mentally before watching this film. So as the scene progresses, the two become a little more intimate with each other and start actually having sex. We smash cut into the bathroom where the girl is being butchered in the bathtub, and we keep cutting back and forth between her getting mutilated and eaten and them having sex together. Pretty uh, catching intro to say the least, but it's only going to get worse from here. After the opening credits roll, we get introduced to our narrator. It's a woman who runs a show called the Gates of Hell podcast and she's going to be narrating pretty much the entire film. I actually like this a lot because it gives that feeling of those true crime podcaster stories that you'd watch on YouTube. I don't know, it's kind of a really eerie way to tell the story. The woman on the podcast introduces the person who was butchering the girl in the bathtub as Robin Kennedy, a serial killer slash photographer who's traveling to San Francisco. She's in search of her next victim, who she presumes is going to be a model that she's meeting at a cemetery. However, at the last minute, the model's agent calls Robin and cancels the photo shoot, luckily for her. However, that doesn't stop Robin from finding another victim. Another girl is out roaming around the cemetery, and Robin begins to have a conversation with her. Robin is able to coerce the girl to come back to her hotel room, and you can probably guess where it goes from here. Back at the hotel room, Robin sets up a camera, and the two begin having sex. Naturally, the scene escalates, and Robin stabs the girl to death and begins mutilating her body. She cuts the girl's torso open and just starts picking off pieces of flesh and eating it. It gets even worse though because Robin takes the knife, cuts a hole in the girl's stomach, and then proceeds to have sex with that hole. You, you kind of see where this is connected to Love Dump in the other film, right? <laughs> and of course this is after Robin had already had sex with the corpse, and it just continues to escalate from here. Robin then goes to a park where she meets her third victim, an independent model that she is once again able to manipulate into bringing back to her hotel room. Robin films the woman getting naked and them having sex with each other, and then murders her. And with each victim that Robin has, she progressively gets more and more deranged. Robin does similar things, you know, cutting her torso open, picking off pieces of flesh and eating them. And you can just tell that Robin loves reveling in these sick, twisted acts. After Robin's done butchering and cannibalizing this girl, she takes her camera out and just takes a bunch of selfies with the corpse. After Robin's done with this, she cleans herself up in the bathroom and we proceed to her final day. We see Robin making her way into the middle of a forest. She sits down, sets up her camera, and pulls out a knife. This is where we proceed to watch Robin commit suicide in the middle of these woods. We assume this is probably the end of the movie, but there's one last scene. We cut back to a scene that shows Robin's brutality in full force. She's sitting at a table with a plate full of flesh and two severed arms. And we cut back to Robin and she's fastened a mask out of someone's face. The final scene is just her sitting at the table eating the flesh and the fingers of this corpse and it's just so disgusting. The final shot is just Robin sitting there looking down at the table and then it cuts to black. We get a small bit of narration from the Gates of Hell podcast giving condolences to the victims and that's how the film ends. Out of all the Sam Hell films that I've watched, I would probably consider either this or Love Dump to be my favorite. You can tell that the production value actually went up quite a bit, and I'm really glad to see that. For an independent, self-funded project, I think this film looks pretty good on all ends. The cinematography, mostly being handheld, can honestly look really good at some times, and it gives that docudrama kind of feel to it. And the practical effects, especially in the epilogue scene, look pretty good. If you guys are looking for something more underground, but still really graphic, I definitely recommend most of Sam Hell's films. Again, he's just a great underground director that makes some really messed up movies. 
So yeah, if this film sounds interesting to you, you can go to abaroquehouse.com and you can pre-order either a Blu-ray or a DVD for it. That's the way I definitely recommend going about watching this film. These are self-funded projects and all the profit that he gets from DVD sales goes on to the next project. So yeah, I'm really glad that Sam Hell is continuing to make these movies and I want to give a big thank you to Severed Cinema. They reached out to me and told me about this film coming out and I was super excited to watch it, so thank you again. And I hope you guys enjoyed the new video. This is once again the most disturbing films ever made, and I'll see you guys next time.